Hello, my crafty friends. This is Lori Gra on the Ridge. I finally finished a um, another envelope journal. There's <laughs> no way this one's gonna fit in the envelope. So this is um, a bigger set. What I have here is this is the envelope that um, it was made from an old curtain of my daughter-in-law's, and I made an envelope out of it. That's um, Artie Mays in. This set, I use a lot of my um, crystals and um, uh, boho, I guess, sari outfits from um, Sheila. I've been hoarding them, and this book is pretty much, I put a lot of them in here. The envelope is an eight and a half by six and a quarter, which is really, really pretty. Oops, with the little danglies. And in here I have oh, a seed packet that's been Mod Podged. I have an envelope that I made with um, parchment paper, and I'll put something in there, doily. And just, a, just a pretty little envelope. And then here is just, just a very simple little notebook got the doily and just um just some pretty i did avocado and tea paper today and it's just so pretty the, i loved how the doilies come out that i just put in a little writing notebook in the envelope so that's what's in the envelope the journal is is fat i just i can't <laughs> it's just fat i would say it's like a grungy boho probably um nine by six it's a piece of cardstock cover yep nine by yep nine by six it has a boho bee that i made a while ago lace this has been uh clear gessoed so it's if you can hear it's kind of sandy feeling the cover is just has all this beautiful stuff that i got from sheila isn't that beautiful? And this this is a really heavy piece. I put that on the bottom. And inside, we just have lots of stuff. This is um, a set of envelopes with some just cardstock tag and a glassine card. So that's just in the envelope. And just some ephemera, and I can't remember where any of this is. It just flips up. This is some trim that I had. This was, whoop, this is Artie Mays. And that just goes with some of the trim. I mean, you could still write, and I tore all the papers. I wanted it like it kind of um, just belonged to somebody, but she really... Loved it, and she hoarded it, and every time somebody came around, she probably stuffed it somewhere, and it got ripped and torn. That was my feeling. This was a piece of tapestry I had, a little booklet, some receipts, and then another glassine bag, or glassine envelope that I made. Just a little one. And then, I don't know if I showed you that, you can write on that. Instead of the corner flip, I just did the square one. Oh, just my little envelopes. I know that's dreams, etc. And then I just did some of the corners. Because I didn't want to put a lot of lace in this one. I saved that for my next book. The next one is going to be loaded. And then just a certificate. And this is just got, this is a, this is um, a piece of um, piano paper that I sewed and then I clear gessoed it in between another piece of paper because they're so fragile. And this is just a bunch of uh, writing spots. And this I had a part with, it is so pretty. <laughs> I've been hoarding these, and I said, it's just time to go. This is from Artie Mays. The 
they would just you could write under it. It just so pretty. And this so oh, everybody's gotta have a pair of shoes. So it's just a piece of ephemera with a just again, this is um sanded. I love that feeling. And this is an Artie Maze tag. Or I just made that. And then another little card. That just goes up there. And this is some, let me make sure I'm still in frame. This is some more Sheila's. Um, I think Boho Daydreams, I think she is. Another writing spot, and I just put that on a piece of cardboard and some of my trim. Like I said, I tore all the pages. And there's a writing spot, and then some pink stuff. And then some more tags. This, I think, is 52, 56 pages. And I love the colors. Is Like I said, I mixed avocado and tea this morning. And um, I made them. This was, um, I embossed it just as a flip. And then I just put some purple. This is mulberry paper. This is scrubby dabby doo da And then Artie Mays. Um, this was just an envelope I made. Kind of a big one. I was just thinking that she would stuff that in there. Again, if somebody came quick, she'd stuff it in her book and stuff it under her cot or something. Put some private papers in there. And the paper really just came out really awesome. I ripped it with... Um... Actually, no, I just ripped this one. And then this is another Artie Mays. And it's just a little hidden pocket with some goodies in there. Another little flip up. This one is a CD card with a doily, and then that's the ephemera. And then this, I think, is already made. It's a belly band, and I mixed the colors. Boy, this <laughs> this gave me agita today. <laughs> Just mixing all the colors. And this this was pretty. This was this another piece that I didn't want to part with, but you can't keep everything. And that's the Piano paper and it had the blue on it, so that's why I decided to go with the blue. And then this, this was some more really, really pretty silver, purplish blue, but on the tag it looks really blue. And this was mulberry paper and sorry silk. This was just, I think this was a Tim Holtz paper. But I tried to match the best I could. Oh my goodness. And then just a corner pocket with some material in the music paper. And there's another bunch of the different materials and the beads. This is like metallic or metal or something. It's pretty cool. And then this I just did. I knew it was going to get glued down. This lifts up. There she goes. And then this is a double guest check. And then there's a secret, a little pocket in there. A little booklet. And more writing paper. And this is another bag that's got the clear gesso on it. Which is kind of like a wild tag. <laughs> and then that's the bag. Or the back. So that is my, I would say, grungy boho. We have a pretty envelope. <laughs> so that is it for tonight. And maybe I might finish that other one. And uh, this is Listen to My Etsy. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.